Sige, para lang alam natin kasi ubus na daw siya ngayon eh. So, so since we're planning for 2025, i-input natin yung 2024 experience. Uh, 20.5 billion, 20 uh, the net in... So, may, may increase pa rin. 20.5 oh. is the level of that fund for 2024. For 2024. Okay, kahapon, sabi ng Presidente, ubus na. I don't, ipapakonfirm natin sa DBM kung ubus na or paubos na. Okay, 20.4. Oh, what is to that uh, disaster fund? Because experience, recent experience, have shown that we really need to augment the fund. Kasi November pa lang, this year, ubus na eh. Um, Mr. President, uh, that, that can be taken into consideration when, when you make your proposals. Um, but again, I, I would just like to reiterate the rationale behind it. The contingency fund can be trans transferred to any department. Yes. It's five years, one billion ang ginasa. Total one billion, not one billion per year. Well, Total of one billion. Okay, thank you. Oh, so five, Ay, five, one billion five, a year. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. President, yes. it just underscores really the the health of our banks. Um, of course, we're not taking that for granted. We still have two hundred fifty billion. But even if uh, we double, triple it based on average, hmm. we're we're still okay, and uh, we have the assurance that we can cover every deposit, the insured amount of five hundred thousand pesos. Yes, you know, you know, you know. Well, I do not know the mathematics there. How much should that fund be? Akala ko ba kahap bago na projects, you approve the, the Cav uh, Cavite Industrial Area Flood Risk Management Project and the Pasig Marikina River Channel Improvement Project Phase 4. Akala ko bago. That was the impression I got yesterday. Ngayon pa, now, uh, the, the correct information is that we will be getting supplemental loans for these two projects. So, nag-increase ang costs nila. Tanong yan, Mr. President, kasi... Dibati tayo ng dibati dito. Nag-guard nag -guard kami sa plenary. Mr. Sa, President, only uh, for national uh, disasters or um, emer urgent needs. Uh, pagka confidential and intelligence fund. Dapat hindi. Hindi naman talaga. Oh, dapat hindi kasi... Uh, and okay. sa 2024, bina binawala na yan sa, sa, sa GAA. Dapat hindi. Contingency to. Sinit na to. Okay, so merong... Um, Special provision that the fund, uh, confidential or intelligence funds for non-security agencies, unless the president certifies it necessary. So it can, it can for those who are already legitimately given, CI, F. Kasi Mr. President, sabi ko, dibati tayo ng dibati sa floor, binabantayan natin ang okay. mga levels, ng level ng confidential and intelligence, tapos pwede palang i-augment from the 13 billion uh, contingency funds. Mr. President, with the... With, uh, uh, if the president deems it necessary, but I was told that this was actually a line added here in the Senate, which we can always yes, uh, amend later on. What, or be specific hope, about what constitutes yeah. a national emergency for the utilization of that fund. I hope that the chairwoman gets uh, appreciates my point. Na, diba, I tayo ng debate rito, binabantayan natin yung level ng mga CIF, and yet meron pa lang 13 billion na mas malaki pa sa level ng CIF na pinag-uusapan natin na potential source to, to add. It doesn't right. make sense, uh, Mr. President. No, it doesn't. This was from last year, yes. which can definitely be amended. And Mr. President, for the record, none of the contingency fund uh, from last year was actually used for, 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 I mean, for this year was used for CF or IF. No, Pero but, yun nga, tanggalin natin yung possibility. The, that's the actual use. Andun ako sa the, the, the possibility nga, the theoretical. I agree. So, ang po I agree. I already accept. Thank, thank you. Okay. No, no, no. In no. Principle, Let, in principle, yes. Let's do this in, in yes, principle, definitely. but let's uh, discuss this in plenary. And then I think uh, one difference of our committee report when compared to the GAB this time is we took out the ACAP. Yes, Mr. ACAP. President. Opo. Uh, andito naman yung ating LBRM, LBRMO na may institutional memory. Last year ba? Last year ba yung ACAP ay kasama sa GAB o hindi? May we know, Madam, the chair, Chairwoman? Hindi po kasama sa GAB. Hindi nga kasama sa GAB. So last year, wala, si ACAP wala na sa NEP, wala pa sa GAB, lumabas sa BICAM. Okay, ngayon, sa ngayong taon, si ACAP wala sa NEP pero nasa GAB. Tapos, so... Improved. Actually, if you look at the if you look at the basic uh, facts, improved ang situation ni ACAP because it's now part of GAB. So, uh, what is the reason why in, in some parts of the GAB, sinunod ng committee natin, how come this part of the GAB uh, where there is an ACAP to the tune of, ang ACAP kasi is ayuda sa kapos ang kita program to the tune of 39 billion. So, 
on that point, hindi tayo nag-agree sa GAB. Um, may, may, we, may we know the re reasoning of the committee? Mr. President, this is also in deference to the Vice Chair of uh, the Committee on Finance for the DSWD. Uh, when I spoke to her about this, what she said is she would like to discuss further and to look into what really uh, is the, the report on the progress of ACAP, uh, who has it been disbursed to, uh, is it really necessary or is this already part of a redundant program yeah. that can be rationalized? So, hindi po nangangahulugan na i-retain o tatanggalin natin. Kasi pagdating po sa plenary uh, at saka yung mga submissions ng mga amendments, doon natin makikita paano na-justify ng finance vice chair yung pagtatanggal o pagbabalik nitong akap na to. Yung, yung 39 billion pesos na budget for a program, mas malaki po yan sa budget ng ibang departments? Tama po? Tama po. Tama po. Actually, mas malaki siya sa de Department of Foreign Affairs, eh. <laughs> Mr. President. Uh, tama po? Tama po ba? Kahit po sa budget ng Congress, mas malaki po yan. Um, kaya kaya wag, po, wag, wag sa atin, wag natin i-compare sarili natin. Let's say sa Department of Foreign Affairs. Oh, mas tama? malaki. Oh. Alam, alam niyo po, talagang nakaka, na, nagul nagulanta nga ang marami dahil nga, Siyempre, hindi naman barya-barya lang ito. Ngayon, kung talaga namang nakakatulong, kailangan malaman din natin, no? Paano ba ito nakatulong? Ito ba ay uh, kailangan o umulit lang sa isang programa na pwedeng doon na lang natin ilagay imbis na dito? So, yun po yung mabuti rin maringgan pagdating sa budget ng DSWD. Uh, Pag-explica ng, alam ko naman, very efficient yung ating secretary ng DSWD. Baka mas kaya niyang i-explica kung paano ba nangyari ito, uh, paano ba na pa ipamahagi ito. Tapos malaman natin sa finance vice chair kung ito ay uh, tatanggapin niya at ano ang dahilan kung tatanggapin niya o hindi niya tatanggapin. So doon po sa uh, DBCC and the DBM which uh, uh, drafted our NEP, the NEP, the budget, May we know the reason why they dropped ACAP because ACAP is in the GAA, eh. GAA 2024. So alam nila yun, may historical knowledge sila, historical data. But they dropped ACAP from NEP. May we know the reason why? What is the, the economic manager's uh, thinking, Mr. President? So, to also guide us. Mr. President, I was just uh, informed that it was not part of the draft proposal of the DSWD for NEP 2025. Mm -hmm. So... So, sa GAB, dinagdag po ito. Ah, okay. So, ibang process po yun. Okay, okay, okay po. Pwede humingi na advice sa economic managers? Uh, is this expenditure, 39 billion peso expenditure, a wise expenditure? <laughs> Mr. President, according to our Secretary of Finance, it's a wealth transfer and personally, he supports it. But we will take this up um, uh, more in, in detail when the, the DSWD uh, budget is being tackled. Because you know, uh, it's a wealth transfer, but because of lack of particulars, we are, we are not uh, clear on who we are transferring that amount to, uh, Mr. President. And there are, definite, and there are definitely uh, siguro more people uh, there are definitely segments of society more in need of the amounts than those who are actually receiving the ACA because hindi siya well defined. Eh. Oh, well, hindi, actually, siya, hindi siya clear nga sa Puris of the Poor, unlike yung ibang programs na talagang for peace, you have to be in the registry of the poor households. Ito subject to. I think, you know, uh, ganun di, uh, anyway, tang, wala naman siya sa committee report natin, ano, but if ever it's, if, if, if the amount will be restored, then kasama niya yung mga special provisions na. Kadikit niya eh. eh. Hindi rin clear dun who will be the recipients of ACAP. That's, that's the... I agree. We will, we will bring this up again uh, when, it, when we come to the DSWD budget. Actually, Mr. President, any program that can really be disseminated to those that are deserving and in need, any, any time that the government has uh, extra cash or the capability to support them, 
we we support it as long as it's something that is sustainable and i understand and i and i agree with the minority leader that let us see what the criteria really is yeah. and who were the beneficiaries of this kasi sino ba yung nagsabi depende kung sino kang naka-standby sa sa munisipyo yun, yun lang yun yes, ang bibigyan so. di ba parang kung kung hindi mo alam katulad ng si sabi ni senator alan kung hindi mo alam hindi mo makukuha so dapat malaman ng ating mga kababayan na lahat kung may mga programang bago ang gobyerno yun lang naman that's why yes this this representation appreciates the decision of the committee led by our chairwoman not to not to include it in our committee report so